Hi hey crafters, Amy here with Amy's Wares and today I'm going to use up some card panels that I have lying around. I have this gorgeous stamp and die set from Lou Collins. I recently acquired this from a company called Craft Stash in the UK. I will link it below but I want to show you first of all what's so awesome about this set. So you can see there are these really cool half tone stamps of these leaves and then also these coordinating dies. So I'm just going to use the dies today. Here's a photo of the two cards that I'm going to pull together. I'm going to use some components that I had on hand and then create some others to pull these two cards together. So here is my chocolate box. This is where I store a bunch of panels or um, gel plate pulls, all sorts of things that are somewhat ready to go. So I have quite a few panels like this that are maybe like ink smushing or something like that that are pretty in their own right, but not really ready to go as a card. They need a little something extra. So if you have a stack of panels that are just kind of meh and not quite up to snuff, then consider using them for die cutting like I'm going to do here today. So I have all these beautiful panels. I'm just going to set them aside and then all these other ones will get turned into another card at some point. But just flipping through trying to figure out my options and ultimately I do end up going with just a couple of these um, more ink smush style type of panels. So I'm going to pull out all of these dies. I'm actually going to use all of the dies um, just over two different panels here. So I have a couple that I'm gonna use on this one with the kind of corally pink color, and then I will use all the other ones on one of the blue and white panels. Now this is probably Distress Oxide if I had to guess, but there is a little bit of a shimmer to it, so I almost wonder if I didn't use I don't know, like a shimmer spray on top of it or something like that. I'm not even sure to be honest, but the panels needed a little something else. So I thought, why not use them for die cutting? So I'm just gonna kind of pull all these out. This one was being a little bit fussy. That one did tear a little bit um, and was a little bit more on the delicate side, but it was probably more because my plates are quite warped. So if you have any issues, just try and use plates that aren't super warped or maybe um, use a metal shim or something like that. Again, this isn't any fault of the die. That was probably just user error because all the other ones popped out just fine. Now these are really cool because they have other little added cutouts onto the leaves. It's kind of a, a cool feature. Now I should check. I feel like I've watched Lou use the stamp and then the coordinating die together. Um, I guess confirm that they're actually the coordinating die for the stamps. I can't say that with 100% certainty because I haven't used them together like that. I guess I just assumed they were, but they may be two separate things. So just confirm that if that is kind of important to you. Otherwise, just using them independent of one another has been awesome. So in this video, like I said, I'm just using the dies. I do have another video where I'm using the stamps. So I'm not sure which order I'll put them out in, but um, in this case, I did take a couple panels that were cut down with these torn edge rectangle dies, or actually, no, I take it back. This is a all to new kind of deckled edge rectangle die. So um, that I will link below, but I'm just basically going to use this embossed panel on top of a white card base. That's USA two size four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm just kind of finagling, moving stuff around, figuring out how I want to do it. Um, some of them I will end up putting on the inside, but I do want to pop up these gorgeous embossed panels. So I'm going to use my two inch foam tape from scrapbook.com and then I will attach that down onto the card base. Now both these white panels as well as the card bases are uh, 120 pound accent opaque. I will link that below as well as all the other products that I used. If there are any affiliate links, it's no additional cost to you, but it does help me out a lot. So here I'm just pulling off the backer and then I'm just going to center these directly on the card bases and get this step ready to go. And then it's just a matter of figuring out the layout and where I want to put the leaves and which little components I'm going to put on the inside. I'm just using some liquid glue. I have some white glue from scrapbook.com. I'm just kind of putting that all over and then I will put it down and then put that big honking acrylic block on top of it just to kind of help hold it down while the glue kind of, you know, does its job, if you will. 
So I'm just going to put this down here on the front. Now this one was so big compared to the other ones. I didn't feel like it needed something else on the front. Um, the one on the right, you can see I did it off screen. I actually clipped off the little edges that were going over the edge. And instead of popping them up with foam tape, I decided to just glue them down flush onto the card base. So it was kind of a cool um, dimensional look having the popped up layer and then it continue flat onto the card base. So now I'm just picking some sentiments. These are simple strips from Tailored Expressions. That's where the stamped sentiments are from as well as the cool storage boxes. Those are also from her. So I'm just shopping through. I have a variety of her collection and I was figuring out which ones worked best. Now this one you can see I liquid glued the other leaf on the inside and then it says holding you in my prayers and then um, with deepest sympathy on the front. So I turned that one into a sympathy and then this one, I'm just putting this sentiment on the front and then the other one on the inside. I did end up having to die cut another little, um, another little floral from some of the scrap paper because I did want to continue it on the inside of the card. So you can see here in a moment, I'm just gonna grab that. I use that little scrap piece got another little leaf and then I'll liquid glue that. So that's a fun and easy way to continue the design onto the inside of the card. If you're not sure what else to put on the inside, then just think of ways that you can kind of carry it on um, from the front of your card onto the inside. So this one wasn't a perfect die cut. There was a little bit of an edge where I went off the edge of the scrap, but it worked out fine. I just kind of nestled it up to the, to the edge of the inside of the card and it worked great. Now I'm going to add a little bit of blingage. This is all card bling from Colorful Life Designs. It's relatively new to the shop. I do have a coupon AmyFan10. If you do shop for anything at a Colorful Life Designs, there's amazing stencils and bling and even some stamps. Use my coupon AmyFan10 at checkout and you'll save 10% off. So I did decide to go with just the satin matte black because it went with both and it kind of tied in and gave some continuity to the black sentiment strips. So I'm going to put five of those on the card front, three on the top, two on the bottom, just kind of priming my picker tool. I notice every once in a while if it gets too cold in my craft room or if I haven't used that wax tip in a little bit, I find that if I just kind of like rub it on my fingers or kind of roll it in my fingers, that warmth kind of reactivates the wax and then it ends up working better. So if you have a wax tip jewel picker tool like this and it's not working for you, then first of all, make sure your glue is off of it. And second of all, just try and you know activate it with some warmth from your hand and you'll probably have much better luck. So this sympathy card, this one I think is my favorite. Let me know in the comments which one you like better, but I really like how that one turned out. That big floral is just gorgeous. Now this one, it says so grateful for you. And then on the inside, it says sending you a big hug. So a fun thank you card. Um, and again, a fun way to use up these panels that just kind of weren't great on their own. So if you have a bunch of panels like this set aside, then maybe think about using them with your dies, maybe standalone word dies or leaves or something like this. So thank you so much for spending time with me. I'll link everything below and I'll catch you next time. Bye.